Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Amen. Good to be here tonight. Uh, of course, we're not having a regular service tonight. We're going to put on a Christmas play for you. You lot to see a lot of people around here dressed up as doctors and nurses. None of it's real. However, I think most of them did stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night, so I think we're good. But we want to we want to do this to really honor the Lord. Um, the kids have really worked hard. Uh, they've worked how long now? What maybe four months? Uh, getting ready for this and preparing for this, and um, this is actually the first ever. Uh, play or drama we've ever had at the church where I have not seen it until the day of, and so I'm looking forward to seeing all of it. Um, But mostly we just want to really acknowledge the birth of Christ and everything that we're doing. Uh, We know there's a lot of tradition in our culture of celebrating Christmas, but really we acknowledge it as the birth of Christ um, because had it not been for him, uh, all of us would still be lost and in our sin and undone, but because of Jesus, uh, we can be saved, we can be delivered, uh, we can be born again. So we want to just take a moment here and just pray and ask God to bless our time together. They're really excited and really ready to go. And so uh, now I want to tell you, I'm just going to forewarn you, all right? Some of the stuff you're going to see tonight, you're going to be like, I don't think that should happen in a church service. Well, we're not in a church service. I just wanted to, it's nothing bad or carnal or anything like that. Um, But it's going to be a lot of good fun, a lot of laughs. Uh, So just sit back and enjoy it and appreciate a lot of hard work that has went into this thing. I do want to acknowledge my wife, amen, Sister Chandra, for putting it all together, (laughs) working very hard uh, to do that. she loves to do this stuff, guys. I mean, she really does. She is a, she is a drama queen. <laughs> what, what, why are y'all laughing? Was that? <laughs> Thank you, Dad. All right, we'll keep it down from the peanut gallery. We want to we wanna pray and ask God's blessing over this time. I'm trying to filibuster here a little bit to see if other people are coming in. Um, cause we just don't want a whole lot of moving around. And I ask that you don't do a whole lot of moving around. Um, if you have to take kids out and stuff, that's fine, but let's just try not to, cause the kids are going to be doing their best to concentrate up here. And, uh, so let's do our best to help them along by sitting and watching. So let's just go before the Lord in prayer. Lord, we thank you so much for the honor and the opportunity we have to be here tonight. We thank you, God. That in this moment and in this season and in this time of year, we all get to acknowledge and the world has to also acknowledge that you were indeed born. And so, Lord, we thank you for your birth because had it not been for your birth, there would have been no death. And, Lord, had it not been for your death, there would be no redemption. For we know without the shedding of blood, there is no remission. So I ask, Lord, that you would bless our time. I pray for each person that is going to be involved, whether it be in speaking lines or in song, uh, whether it be in the audio, Lord God, that you would just touch all of our minds, help us to be clear, and help us to do everything that we do unto the very glory of God. And for all of it, we will give you praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, we're going to sing a song real quick as a congregation. I'm just trying to give it a couple minutes longer. You all know it, all right? So sing it with me. Oh, come let us adore him. Oh, come let us adore him. Oh, come let us adore him. Christ the Lord. Oh, come let us adore him. Oh, come let us adore him. Oh, come let us adore him. Christ the Lord, we crown him king. 
King of glory. We crown him King of glory. We crown him King of glory. He cries the Lord. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. One more time. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. Don't you? We all do. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me. Please, me, Jeremiah. I understand. That's why I brought you here. Nurse Philpot, my friends need to see a doctor. And fast. What's your problem? Our, Our problem? for us. 
today myself. Take a seat. The doctor will be here in a minute. Excuse me, Nurse Fosspot? That's Nurse Phil Pot. Oh, well, what's Dr. Newhart like? Dr. Newhart? Dr. Newhart loves kids. Yes! Dr. Newhart takes shots. Yes! Dr. Newhart gives out candy. Yes! Dr. Newhart... Hello! Yay! Yay! I'm Dr. Newhart. How do you do? Why anyone can tell what's wrong with you? Your joy has jumped the wagon, your fun has fled the town. Christmas is here, but you're feeling down. I'm Dr. Newhart, and I'm pretty wise. I always made a grade above the guy. I think that I can help you, at least I'll do my best. But first I need to ask you to take a little test. Dr. Newhart. That's me. Dr. Newhart. MD. In the examination. Nurse Phil Pot, will you help me? Will you say ah? Uh, uh, stick out your tongue. Uh, now stretch your arms in front of you. Just one. Close your eyes and touch your nose. Take your time. Very good. Now will you cough? <coughs> that sounds fine. Now take a breath. Now heave a sigh. Now put your right hand over your right eye. Count the fingers that you see. One, two, three. Now let's check your hearing. Repeat after me. Dr. Newhart. Dr. Newhart. Dr. Newhart. Dr. Newhart. Excellent. Can we be sure you got the cure, Dr. Newhart? Do the tricks, cut the sticks, I feel so good. Oh, I can see that. Dr. Newhart. That's me. See you again, Kaeja. You too, Dr. Newhart. I take it your friends have the CDDs, the Christmas Day dump? Yeah, they all got tons of stuff for Christmas, but, but they, they still, still aren't, aren't happy. happy. You got it. Can you help us? Yeah, yeah. please, help yeah. us. Yeah. Well, I'm afraid the Christmas Day dumps is a symptom of something far more serious. Oh, no. Nurse Philpott, will you page my interns for me, please? Okie dokie, Doc. Paging doctors frick, paging doctors frack, paging doctors frickin' frack. Who are they? They are young doctors still studying medicine. Why do you call them oh, no. interns? Oh, I think you'll see. Dr. Newhart, do you have patients for me to see? But it's my turn. No, it's my turn. It's my turn. It's my turn. It's my no, turn. No, it's doctors, my turn. doctors, you will both get a turn. See what I mean? Interns. Ah, patients. So, do you have a stomachache? Uh-uh. A stomachache? Uh-uh. Toothache? Uh-uh. A heartache? A heartache, yeah. Oh, Cameron, your heart does more than liking girls. Your heart does lots of things. Dr. Newhart, maybe we should start by looking inside their bodies. Inside our bodies? Oh, no. All right, Dr. Frickin' Track, but make sure you take turns. <laughs> ah, the bone song. First, we'll begin at the bottom. First, you see the phalanges. The metatorus. The tarsus. The tibia. The fibula. The patella. The femur. Um, excuse me, doctors, but why don't you teach them the way I taught you? 
diagnose this to be heart trouble. That's what I was going to say. Yes, but it is not your turn. Well, Dr. Frick and Frack, you are both right. This is a heart problem. Oh, no. Nurse Philpot, we need to finish the examination. Will you record my observations for me, please? All right. Of the following items, which did you receive for Christmas, you may indicate by a raised hand. She better have one long list. Yeah, I can't. Re I can't even remember all the gifts I got. Ready? Ready. New coat, new clothes, new books, new bows, new boat, new bike, new truck, new trike, new doll, new cat, new ball, new bat, new game, new dart, new desk, new heart. Huh? Hey, hey, hey! Wait on a minute. No one said that last one. What was it again? A new heart. Well, that just might be the problem. <laughs> but I've never heard of uh, I've never heard of asking for a new heart for Christmas. Well, Cameron, this is what I tell all my patients. <laughs> There's lots of things you want when Christmas rolls around. Lots of things upon your Christmas list. But won't you save a space? When you write them down And when you do, won't you remember this? You need a new heart for Christmas A new start for Christmas A new way to face a brand new year You need a new kind of love From the Savior above A new heart for Christmas this year God knows what's deep inside That junk you keep inside And he wants to make you Oh, things are passed away. God's love will come to stay to warm you through and through. You need a new heart for Christmas, a new start for Christmas, a new way to make the brand new year. You've been listening. You need a new kind of love from the Savior above, a new heart for Christmas this year. Under your skin and bones, you got a heart of stone. That's right, Kaeja. New heart for Christmas, a new start for Christmas, a new way to face a brand new year. You need a new kind of love from the Savior above, a new heart for Christmas this year. You need a new heart for Christmas, a new start for Christmas, a new way to face a brand new year. You need a new kind of love from the Savior 
If we need a new heart, what's wrong with the one we've got? Well, it probably has a hole in it. A hole in my heart? Oh, no. <laughs> well, before we go any further, I demand a second opinion. Yeah, now, Jeremiah, yeah. just be patient. Now, <laughs> cut the clowning around. Who are they? They are the orderlies, or what we like to call them around here, the disorderlies. Here. You guys aren't even real doctors. Well, we may be playing on disorderlies, but we know all about heart trouble. Yeah, of course you you were made the heavenly father placed inside you everything that you need you got a stomach to eat with a liver underneath you got two good lungs to breathe but your heart the beach just isn't complete though it pumps blood through all of your veins there's an empty place a little open place but this hole in your heart it has a name that holy, holy. Try to avoid, but it aches and it stings, so you fill it with things, but the things don't bring you joy. So you party and you bop, you shop till you drop, but you still don't feel any peace. And you try to hide that you're sad inside, but God knows your heart and he sees. That holy, holy. Is what you ought to do Put aside all your pride and belief That the baby in the hay grew to be a man one day And he died on the cross for you and me So turn away from all your junk You don't have to be a monk Cause Jesus wants to see us have fun When he comes to live in you Here's what he's gonna do He will fill it and he will overcome made a lot of sense. Maybe we do have a hole in our heart. Dr. Newhart, if we always had this holy hole, how can we really feel it on Christmas Day? Oh, you probably had the symptoms for quite some time, but they're especially noticeable during Christmas. Tell them why, Dr. Newhart. Well, let's think about it. What is Christmas anyway? A holiday. That's right. And what's a holiday? Holiday means holy day. Yes, it does. And out of all the holidays, which is the holiest? 
Why Christmas, of course. Well, then someone tell me about Christmas. Give me a break. You get presents, you go to parties, you get out of school. No, no, no. That sounds good. But someone tell me about the holy part. The holy part? Yes, Gloria, the holy part. Well, I'll try. Wow, thinking about the first Christmas makes me feel better already. Yeah, up to now, I guess I forgot about that part. I guess I was thinking about all the stuff I'd get. No wonder we're in the dumps. Well, I have to admit it, Dr. Newhart. You did it. We're all better now. Hey, guys, we're cured. Yay, Yay bye. bye. Come on, Kaisha. But guys... Oh, no, I'm afraid you can't leave. Nurse Philpott, page the pink ladies for me, please. Oh, no. 
this. Yeah, we told you. We feel better now. Sure, we all feel better when we think of the manger scene or go to a carol service or help somebody in need at Christmas, but that still doesn't mean we don't have heart trouble. Kaisha, we know we're just trying to help, but we don't need your help anymore, okay? Yeah, we're leaving and we're leaving now. Well, the last part of my examination was the hooky up to the heart monitor, but I can see that won't be necessary. The heart monitor? Yeah, it's like a computer that lets you look and listen to your heart. Oh. Great, we'll finally get to see this hole. Oh, I'm afraid only you and the Lord knows what's inside your heart, but as long as we have this big hole in the front of our face called a mouth, it's awfully hard to keep the contents of our heart a secret. Oh, how can you then how can you tell it's inside, Dr. Newhart? Well, Kaija, I think I have an idea. I'm gonna go get a letter <laughs> that I received from you. And you let the pink ladies hook you up to the monitor. What does she mean? <coughs> well, your heart is where all the desires are. You know, all the things you want, but some people's desires are not very holy. Oh. I'm going to hook you up to this little monitor here. Well, let's you? see. Here's a letter I received from Kaija after she visited me last Christmas. I'm gonna hook you up here, honey. I can hear it. <laughs> Sounds healthy. I'll read Kaija's letter and we'll see how healthy your heart really is. It's my desire to discover 
on Nurse Philpot. I haven't seen you so cheerful in weeks. Cheerful? I mean, uh, me? Maybe. I mean, I better get back to my magazine, uh, paperwork. Wow, Kaisha, how did you do it? Yeah, when did you get your new heart? It was last Christmas when I went, came to see Dr. Newhart. That's what makes you so happy. Why don't you and Jeremiah try the heart monitor? No, thanks. No, thanks. We'll pa I'll pass. Me too. But why? Because I already know it's in my heart. Yeah, a lot of junk. Oh, yeah. But you've just taken the first step to a new heart. We did? Mm-hmm. First, you examined your heart and admitted that what's inside isn't really holy. And then you asked God to put something that is. Like that holy night? Like that one born on the holy night. He fits perfectly, doesn't he, Kaija? Yeah, and when he fills your heart, it becomes brand new. So how did you do it? Well, it's just a simple prayer. Dr. Newhart told me what to do. Yeah, here, I'll show you. <laughs>
it seems I've forgotten to do something very important today. I forgot to wish you Merry Christmas, so... Nurse, Nurse Philpott, I don't understand. You were in the best of mood, but you definitely was efficient. What did you forget? Well, I forgot to wish you a Merry Christmas. Oh, Nurse Philpott! Oh, my! It definitely is from the heart. Sure, you got a tree somewhere? Yeah, uh, Frick and Frack, that's your department. Frick and Frack, you know, you know that word. Okie dokie, Doc, from now on, things are going to be different around here. I'm sorry. I, oh, I love red bows. Oh, yeah. Pink ladies, that's your job. <laughs> <laughs> there. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> there. And don't forget the manger scene. The manger scene? I'll do that one myself. Finally, this place is going to look like Christmas. But isn't Christmas almost over? Oh, heavens no. For you guys, Christmas has just begun. <laughs>
Isn't that wonderful? Oh, is she okay? That was a long fall. <laughs> Bless her heart. Oh, I think they did a wonderful job, don't you? Every one of them. Every one of them. They did a wonderful job. And again, Sister Chandra did a great job directing it, putting it together. And, and we do know, folks, that Christmas is not about trees, it's not about presents, it's not about lights and ornaments. All of that is beyond the point. The point of this is that Christ did come, and he did die, and he shed his blood so that we could be forgiven of sin. And so many of us that have gathered in this place tonight have experienced what it feels like for the Lord to just forgive you and to wash you clean. And that's what this is really about, is for your life to be turned around and for your heart to be changed. And no one can do that but the Lord. He said, I will take it from you that heart of stone and I will put in you a heart of flesh and I will write my word upon the fleshly tables of your heart. And that is what this is all for, is so that we can serve God and live for God and love God God, because we do know that it is appointed unto man once to die, and after this, the judgment. And I want to know that when I stand before God in judgment, I have been forgiven, and I have been washed, and I know that I'm going to make it into his presence, and I will not be ashamed before him at his coming. That is the reason why we're here tonight, is to know that. And, and I just want to encourage you. I, I want them to sing that song that Caesha sang one more time. And if you're in this place and you have never come to a real saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, I know we enjoyed this play, but they did all of this for this moment. If you have never, ever saving knowledge of Jesus Christ in your life, you don't have to leave here like you came. If you've walked away from the Lord, you don't have to leave here like you came. 
The great thing about the Lord is, is that he is just waiting to receive you and to forgive you and to wash you and to call you his child. And, 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 and if I were you, after having heard all we've heard tonight, after having experienced all we experienced tonight, I would not want to leave this place not knowing that I had been forgiven and that I had been washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. So I am going to let her sing this one more time. Let them sing this one more time. And if you're in this place and you say, you know what, Pastor, I really want to know that when I leave this house that I have been forgiven because I know I'm not where I need to be. I know that my life is not where it needs to be. I know it because I know it's in my heart. And I want it to be right. I want to be forgiven. Then I want to offer you this opportunity to come forward and we will pray for you and we will talk with you and we will help you to come to that understanding. You don't have to worry about it. You're in a house of friends. You're in a place where there's no stones to be thrown in this place. We just want to see you come to know Jesus. Because he is the best thing that ever happened to any of us. So one more time, we're going to let Kaisha sing this. And then uh, if you're in this place and you say, you know what? I really want to come to know the Lord or I just want to come back to him. This altar is open and I will be right here to meet you and to pray with you and to ask the Lord to help you and to pray with you into that place of forgiveness.
down at the altar. I just feel like calling again. If you need Jesus in your life, if you're tired of living the life you've lived, come on, he's here to forgive you. He's here to wash you. He's here to deliver you. I know it's a Christmas play, but this is your day of salvation. Come on, child of God. Come on, come on. Come on, sinner, come home. Let God, let God wash you. Let God cleanse you. Praise God. 
uh, we, we so thank you for coming and being with us. Uh, and mostly we just thank the Lord for being here. Amen. Surely his presence has been here with us. We now are going to transition into a time of fellowship. Uh, we have got uh, all kinds of goodies in the fellowship hall. If you want to stay around and uh, spend some time with us, you are very welcome to. Um, I am going to ask you to let our, uh, our seasoned saints go first. Um, just cause you got a wig on, don't make you season sister. I don't even, mm -mm. Uh, uh, I mean, I got gray hair, Laverne. That don't make me season. Uh, but also it, you know, we will have one line. So just be patient with us. There's a lot of folks in here. Uh, we'll get you through as soon as we possibly can. We've got chairs in there to sit in. Um, but we just thank you for coming. So let's just bless our food. And then we will go into the fellowship hall and we'll have a wonderful time of fellowship together. I, I ask that you try to sit with somebody that you don't know. Sit with somebody that you don't know, all right? Uh, that's, that's how fellowship is good, is when you can sit across from somebody you don't know and talk to them, find out about them. Uh, but let's just ask God to bless our food and we'll have a great time of fellowship. Lord, we thank you so much for this wonderful night. And Lord, I thank you for these children and I thank you for all of these adults, Lord, that have, Lord, come together and they have collaborated and produced this wonderful environment for us tonight. And we just thank you for that. We thank you that your presence is here. Lord, we thank you for that one that came to the altar, Lord. Our heart rejoices tonight because we know heaven is also rejoicing tonight. So thank you so much. Lord, we pray now that you would bless our time of fellowship. We pray that you would bless the food to the nourishment of our body somehow, some way, miraculously, God. Do that for us. And Lord God, we pray for the hands that prepared it, that you would bless them abundantly. Just be with us. Cover us during this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. All right. Saints, through this door right here is the fellowship hall. Please come. Have a wonderful time.